Welcome to Deep Thought. Book banning is about control. And I missed the thing, you know, this is late for the week that was supposed to, they were talking about that national book banning issue, you know, really addressing it. But let's be real about book banning. It's about control. It's about control, you know. You got maybe parents trying to control what their children read. And why are they doing it? To protect them? It really, it doesn't help them because the only way they can effectively protect them from everything out here is you have to censor the media heavily, especially in the age of social media. People gonna see it regardless. <laughs> you, you might not have it in the books, but if, let's just be real. If people got social media, if they got a phone, they got access to the information. But a lot of times they're not thinking about that. Oh, let's burn this book. Oh, we don't want them to think about what these other people are going through, this minority group or uh, this, uh, sexual, this sexual group or something like that. And they, uh, they will say they're protecting their children, but they're trying to control them. Because think about books in general. What do they do? You read the books, and it's like you're talking to the author, even if the book is not, you know, if it's nonfiction, and, you know, there's nothing objective they're saying. Ultimately, they're saying stuff from their perspective. I don't care who it is. There's nothing objective about it. But you basically hearing their perspective on something. Their perspective. And there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. Because, as I said in the last episode, rhymes about power. So being about power, I recognize when somebody's trying to have power over somebody or take power away. You see, you have groups of people who want to really have power. That's all it's about. Really, that's all, the, all this stuff in politics is about power. Everything else is bullshit. And I don't care right, left, center, radical, far right, far left. It's about power. So this book banning thing, is really about power. They, they say protect, but see, here's how groups, they went, this is how especially groups, especially authoritarian groups, because uh, uh, my best skill is actually in politics. <laughs> and that's my best skill. Ironically, I don't do anything on it. This is the closest you'll come. But one of the things authoritarians will do when people are trying to control you, they'll say they're doing it to protect you. No, they not. They don't want the idea. You know, they're trying to do something. But you can't really control people that way because it hurts them. Because here's the thing, and Sun Tzu said this, and I don't mean to say somebody who goes against you is an enemy, but Sun Tzu, his greatest saying, in my opinion, was uh, who wrote the, Sun Tzu who wrote The Art of War. If you know yourself and you know your enemy, you need not fear the results of 100 battles. And even in my book, my relationship book, Nice Guys and Players, I specifically said, read books that contain ideas that go against your belief systems. Now, I've read some stuff. Now, I'm a black man. You see me. I'm a black man. African-American, ADOS, FBA, whatever term you want to use. Africoid. I've read plenty of, uh, I've read plenty of white nationalist material. Checked out websites and everything. And I ain't get mad. Now, somebody will say, no, well, we got to keep our kids from reading stuff like that. It's like, no, you need to understand. You need to understand. Stuff like that should be presented and allowed to be read. Now, that's what I would say. Have be there to explain some things. Be there to explain it. Because, like I said, reading. Well, I'm going to talk, talk about reading more in the next episode. But when you ban a book, you don't want that idea out. You don't want to see how somebody might have lived. You know, it's like when people are trying to twist what might have actually happened in history. It's about control, your thoughts. But I'm going to tell you what. Not having an idea about what's really going on, not reading the books, it actually hurts people banning the books. Because first of all, it's about choice. And I'm gonna just say this, make a political statement. The parents should be the only ones who make a decision. If you're talking about kids, let the parents make a decision. 
And the kid's still going to get the stuff anyway, probably, but make a decision and decide, okay, here's what it is. This is how they think. You know, with my sons, I'll say, yeah, they, they're against people who look like us, but this is why. This is what they're saying. But then you get an understanding. You get an understanding of it. Because once you do that, and even um, just for some racial thing or going against a sexual minority thing, you know, when you ban books, you actually hurt people's intelligence. You hurt it. You hurt it because they can't, they don't have knowledge of stuff. You hurt them for the situations they might be in. Because if you have a better understanding of when you encounter different people, different situations, the books could help. Like the books can help because you, if you read the book, you have an idea, okay, that's their perspective. You don't have to agree with them. I, mean, I say a significant amount of books that I've read in life, I had zero agreement with. But I had a, after reading the books, got to understand it. And see, that's what it is. And that's why, and really even now, that's why I can say I support what I support and everything because I saw the other side. In fact, I actually look for the other side in any situation. If you know yourself, you know your enemy, you need not fear the results of 100 battles. But even in war, if you know yourself and you know how the other side thinks, not even in war, but just period, you have an uh, understanding. Like I said, I've read several white nationalist type of uh, um, essays and everything. And I have a total understanding. I'd say a total understanding. And it's like, okay, all right. Hell no, I don't agree. But <laughs> I have an understanding, you know. But you have people trying to control, and it really hurts people on all sides. Not just one side, it hurts everyone. It hurts everyone. Because let me use another example. I've said before for the federal government, I've, I've done negotiations with a certain agency. I've done negotiations. One of the things when you negotiate, if you have an understanding of who you're dealing with, you got a better chance of winning that negotiation or at least getting what you want. But when you block people from getting an understanding, you actually hurt them. You, had, you hurt the people that didn't read the books, don't know it exists. And trust me, something in life will always come. Something in life will always come. Like I read a lot of stuff, read feminist stuff, you know, read stuff on the other side, like totally patriarchal, you know, read, you know, you get that understanding. So it's very important, but you have people, they don't want you to get to understand it. They want to control how you think. They want to control your personal school of thought. It's about control, it's about power. And that's one of the main ways to do it, because remember, our bodies follow our minds. You know, free your mind and your ass will follow. But if your mind has been limited because you didn't read certain things, or you weren't exposed to certain things, then the people who did it, they trying to control you, control what you think. It comes down to propaganda. It's deep, think about it. Think about it, it's deep. Like I said, the most that should be done may be a parent. Just say, hold up, you know. If they say, for whatever reason, their children don't need to see this, I can understand it. No, I can understand it as a parent. But even then, I would say, maybe not at that moment, but let the child read it later on and then explain, have a conversation about it. Say, okay, this is how someone thinks. You don't have to agree with it. In fact, like I said, I've read so many books I had zero agreement with, but I had got an understanding. Because ultimately it's about freedom. Let people choose if they don't want to read something, they just don't read it. Like there's been some stuff that I've heard about I still haven't read yet, but I have a choice. Everybody should have a freedom of choice as far as that. Everyone. Like I said, maybe parents, keeping stuff from their kids. Okay, I can understand that. But even then, when their children get older, they should have a choice to read it. A choice, but not control. And I can just say this, this won't end well. I'm just gonna be real, this will not end well. Because when you try to control, one thing when you try to control, 
is always pushback. Keep that in mind. So anyway, I want y'all to think on what I just said and I'll get back with y'all later. Peace and blessings.